video for today. Another daily video. These are daily now, so a brand new video every single day. So if you like what I do, click subscribe, comment, follow, and yeah, enjoy the video. This is how to draw an old school octopus. Enjoy. How to draw an old school octopus design. Now this is going to be done on the iPad Pro in Procreate, but you can do it on paper with markers, pens, whatever you want. Just copy what I do on there. As usual, four layers, sketching, colour, shading, line work. Start with sketching and we'll work our way down. Dark red, we're going to go sketching, technical pencil. So I'm just going to show out some shapes firstly, um, where we're going to have everything. So I'm going to sketch in this rectangle shape here. A little rectangle here. It's kind of like going to be the bottle shape. Gonna have like a flower here, just kind of sort of positioning everything. So you're gonna have two circles, and you're gonna have these uh, curve parts off the edge, just make up basic flower shape. You know, we're getting more detail. This is just kind of like getting an idea for positioning. Over here, we're gonna have a swig circle, another circle, another circle. It's gonna be like the octopus head, and then we're gonna have these tentacles kind of like swerving around. So. I'm just going to make some kind of like squiggly lines for these tentacles, just in some different kind of areas. So I might make one go around the neck of the bowl. One can come off here. Maybe go a bit over the flower. One just around the Bubby's head maybe. So this is the rough kind of positioning that I'm thinking. So now we've done that, I'm going to go and I'm going to start sort of like going more detail with everything. So to start with, I think I'm going to go for the bottle. I want to just get the bottle like nice and symmetric quickly. So I'm going to go drawing guides, edit drawing guides symmetry. You ain't got to do this. This just speeds things up for me. I'm just going to put the symmetry tool. I'm going to turn the angle of it just so it's kind of facing the angle of the bottle. So now when I draw, I'm just going to draw both sides symmetrically. So it just speeds up a little bit. So I'm going to bring these lines up here, I'm going to curve these around, curving up into the neck of this bottle, I'm going to have this little sausage shape, just on top so the top of the bottle, and then a little shape just here at the top, just like the cork screw on top, a little line here, just going to draw a secondary line just coming around the bottle edge, so just copy the exact line just a bit on the inside, just kind of shape it off. Just put it in there. You might, we might not necessarily see the bottom bit, but it's just uh, get it in there so we can see it. You can just move this down, just turn this down here a touch. So just quickly going to do this as a flower. Now like I said you don't have to do this. It's just making things a bit easier. So I'm going to sketch in which will be like the main circle inside the flower, and then we're going to have one line across. One line there, one line there. So I'm going to have like an eight sided flower. Just going to bring out a circle just around the outside so I can just get the rough positioning. And I think it's always nice to draw like a rough kind of circle around it, then you can kind of make sure all your lamps are roughly right. You know, it's very easy to flower too big on one side, not the other. So for each one of these, I'm going to bring out a line. And when I get to the center, I'm just going to make a little dip and curve to the next one. So each one is going to have like these two bumps. Just like so. Nothing too crazy. And then for the outside leaves here, I'm just going to bring the line out, curve it outwards, bring it back in. Like so. Similar to this bottom one here, just going to bring this one back out. Like so. I might just put another one. Just there. Yeah, I like that. It just gives like a nice kind of base to it. And I've done that. I'm literally just going to click on here, just turn off that drawing assist so no more symmetry needed. So we're going to do the eye. So we're going to do a circle. Put another circle around it, like so. Just underneath the eye bit, I'm going to have this line coming down. Come here. 
and curve back. So just making this little sort of tube bit. And just a little dot on the inside part just there. Now, I don't want to go too crazy with detail of this because it's going to be old school. You know, I don't know, you know, the more detailed you go, the more it takes away from the old school feel. So I'm going to bring this up around here. And when we get to the top, I'm going to bring in a line kind of cutting in. A secondary line cutting into that circle shape. A third one. And then I think the fourth one I'm going to have just telling the shape. So I'm going to have this come back around like so. And have a little hint in the circle just on that side so you can see where the other eye would be. And just get like a nice old school kind of sort of pattern. I'm going to do like a little circle here. And just could create a few sort of like almost like scaly bits. Just coming up from the nose. Just on the back here. Just going to do another circle. Another circle inside it. And I'm going to do lines all the way around it. Like that. So that's pretty much it for the facial details. And then each tentacle is going to be made up of the same kind of principle really. So we're going to start with, so I'm going to add this one coming in here. And we're just going to have like circles for like the suction bits. So we just keep going around and as you go further across the tentacle, just making it smaller and smaller. Until eventually they sort of just disappear. And then around the outside of that, I'm going to have this wiggly line very close to it, just across the outside. And then around that's going to be start like the smooth edge of the tentacle. So they're all going to be that same principle, so the circle, then the swiggy line, and then the outside line. So we're going to have one coming through here. Squiggly line above. Secondary line just going around the top, and I'll just cover in that bit. Getting up here, so circles, just repeating, getting smaller and smaller as they go. Squiggle on around the outside, line around the outside of that. Get this one going around the neck of the bottle, so line's going across there, squiggly line, line across. Just get a couple just down here. Now you ain't necessarily got to do all eight of his legs. You know, I think sometimes if you can see all eight, it's just kind of like a bit too much depending on the size you do it. So just ones here and there, kind of hitting and out. So we've got what one, two, three, four, five. So I might just have like one more, just kind of like curving just out here. Same principle, just those circles come back, squig line, line coming around. Now inside the bottle, just gonna have simple like little detail, so a bit of water, I might have like a hint of a ship here. You know, so it's gonna be a little kind of sort of box shape. Some lines going up, some lines across. I'm not going full old school ship, you know. You can do if you want. But don't go too much in the, not too don't put too much in a small space. And then around the outside of that, it's gonna have like an oval secondary line. And this is gonna be like an old-fashioned ship rope, so I'll leave some lines in there. So now we're gonna go line work. We're gonna go black, inking, studio pen. Bit thicker than that. Touch. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just going to go over everything we've just done now with the black liner. So it's going to start with, um, just to speed things up here, drawing guys, I'm just going to quickly do the bottle on both sides. Just put on. 
drawing assist and that'll activate it. Now don't worry if it overlaps in certain bits, so I'm going to rub out um, any areas where it overlaps, it's just speeds up an unnecessary part of it to be honest. That did for the bottom white line, so I'm just going to turn off that drawing assist. So just rub out wherever it kind of overlaps the design. So where on those tentacles, just remove that. And the rest we're just drawing. Easy peasy. So just keep putting in those lines. You ain't got to go the same speed as I do. I know that I do go pretty quick with this. Pause your one, go as slow as you need to. Yeah, it's all about the end product, it's not about the speed. Start with circle so should I start with? I'm going to go this way, so I'm just going to start here. Yeah. Just keep plotting those circles to begin with. Then I'm going to get that squiggly line going on the outside of it. Outside line around that. And just keep doing it, just keep building it up. There's something definitely therapeutic about doing the same sort of shape over and over until it becomes tedious and annoying. But when it does, don't give up. I mean, when you first start, I feel like it's taken a while, but you'll soon realise that it goes quicker than you probably think. Once you get in the hang of it, once you kind of get used to that movement.
So just keep that going, just keep building up. I mean, we're starting to get there now. This way you're not going to get much of, so I'm just going to just place that one in there. Now being old school, I'm just generally keeping everything the same kind of line width. If you want to be a bit more detailed, a bit more neo-trad, you know, add a few different kind of line thicknesses. You know, but for the style I'm going for, I kind of need this all to be the same. And then just put in that flower we done. That inside circle on, I'm just going to do with dots. Should have a symmetry on first. I forgot to do drawing assist. I'm just going to put in, to begin with, these circular outside parts and then add the uh, lines in afterwards. It's going to be a little line just inside each one of these. So, then I've got a drawing assist. Just putting this last tentacle bit here now, and then onto the thumb bar, onto the shading. Okay, so I'm just going to turn off the sketching layer now so you can see everything nice and clearly. And oh, I forgot to do the ship, didn't I? Just quickly whip this in. Right, make sure your line work is set to reference. It makes it easier when selecting for shading. Now you're going to see in the top right hand corner, the top left hand corner, there's a selection button I got highlighted. Automatic. So it's going to select uh, piece by piece and start shading it in. So the first piece I'm going to do, I think, is going to be some of these outside parts of the tentacle. I'll select these ones to begin with. Now for my shading, I'm going to go use the spray paint tool because I really like this effect for old school. And now for these, I'm kind of going to go sort of black from the inside parts and the outside parts and sort of fade it out. So I'm going to go black here. Black here. Ooh, make sure my selection tool is up a little bit because it's showing too much of the edge for me. So each one of these just black from either side of it. I 
a little bit just here as it goes around the bottle so there's a bit of shade there now you've got his back one on his head here so what I'm going to do is have some solid black coming around the outside the back of this head like so nice and bold Yeah, I like that. It's got a nice old school vibe to it. Now let's put around the eye here. I'm just going to have a black line kind of coming through the middle of it like that. So I just quickly go on the line work. If you had these breaks in the line, it just like um, stops the selection until working properly. Easy to miss sometimes. The uh, leaves on the inside part, I'm going to go heavy black with them. Just like so. And inside the bottle, just maybe like around certain corner parts. Nothing too crazy. Ooh, missed that part of the uh, tentacle there. Can't forget that. The top cork here. It's going to go black from either side again. So I'm, I'm pretty much using the, shade, the same kind of sort of shading technique for most of it. Bit of shade on that boat. Now, the thing that I do for the shading until I do the over on the outside, which I might actually plot in now because I didn't do that before. So, for this, I'm just going to go on the inking tool. Now, we've got that oval on the outside, so I'm just going to draw this in. Like so, and I'm going to get another oval going around this side. Try to keep it roughly about the same distance apart. If you draw and just hold it with this, just kind of smooths it out a little bit. So it just speeds it up there a little bit. Get that to the position of height that I want. Yeah, I quite like that sort of spacing. And just here I'm going to come in, I'm just going to erase any bits that kind of go over the areas that I don't want. So here it goes over the bottle part I've done here, so any time it hits any part that we've drawn up, just to raise it. Truth is, I just forgot to do that bit. <laughs> okay. I said we're all human, don't worry, we all make mistakes. There's no need to panic with these things. And just here now I'm going to do a little zigzag line. Or not zigzag, just diagonal line. Rather. Just cutting through any part of that that I see. Just like so. Now it's going to merge that down with the line work. So it just becomes one layer. And back onto the shading. Turn off the sketching. So you see it's all come together quite nicely now. So just a few little areas here. So I'm going to select that background stuff now. I'm just going to select all the background areas that I can see. Just for the minute. So I just want to add a little bit of shading, not too much at all really. There's many areas that I kind of feel lack it or just kind of sort of show off a little bit more. So a little bit just around here, a little bit around this back, and a little bit there. That's just literally it for those, those bits. So now onto colour. 
So I'm going to select the areas that I know that I want to colour in. So I want, I'm going to select all the areas I know that I want red. So I want the tentacle bits to be red, I want the flower to be red. So all the little suction bits. Just select them. Clicking on all those little areas. If it selects everything, you've either clicked on the line or there's a little break in it and it click, you know, selects everything that's around there. You know, for the selection tool to work properly, it has to be like a perfect seal. I want to be red. I'm going to have that bit there in red. And that'd be it for the red, I think. So my red's going to be like this nice colour. If you want to use my colours, I do have them available on my um, Facebook and Instagram. There's a little post, you can just copy and paste them. Or just click on them and select them in there. So I'm going to put all the red in there. Bit of yellow just for this inside part, just here. Like so. These leafy bits are going to have a dark green, just like that. These inside parts, very getting low. Inside those squiggly lines, I want them yellow. Inside the eye, I want yellow. Inside this little bit, I want yellow. Like so. It's inside water bit. I'm going to have this blue, but I'm not going to color it in solid blue. I'm just going to have it kind of fading around the black, so extending off of the black we done inside the bottle. Just like that. And then a little bit just on the top. Like so. The right bit around the outside, I want brown. I also want a corking brown. For this nice kind of caramel brown, not too dark a brown, really. It's nice, rich, very much on a similar sort of scale to the red, really. Then you got his main part of his body. Select. I'm going to have this. Kind of on this kind of khaki kind of colour. And I'm kind of just kind of going to go around the black bit. So I'm not colouring him completely. Just anywhere I've done black, I'm just kind of extending it on the black. Like so. I'm going to come in with that red again. Just going to sketch this in here. I'm 
just in those little scaly bits on the heads. So I like to do that. And then lastly, I'm gonna go for an orange spray paint. A bit similar to what you've done before, just kind of like working off the red. I mean, you can build it in solid if you want, but I just feel like it's a bit too much, a bit too, a bit too intense. Quite like that. But just piece of mind, let's have a look at a few different colours, see what could work. Ooh, the blue is quite nice. Kind of greeny blue. Yeah, I might go for that colour actually. I like that. It looks good the other way as well. So if, done it, if you've already done it the other way, don't worry. It still looks good. But there, there you go. That's how you draw an old school octopus and bottle design. You know, there's plenty of ways to do it. You can sort of change your tentacle direction, more tentacles, less tentacles. You know, put them upside down, more the bottom show, more detail in the bottle. But yeah. I really like that. Comment, like, subscribe, people. I am the Broken Puppet, and I will see you next time. Peace.